Happy holidays, it's Tina, your Charlotte, North Carolina and South Carolina real estate agent who moved to France. I've been living in France for almost 11 months and I wanted to share a story about the time I went to the dentist in France. Now, before I go into my story, if you haven't subscribed, liked, or turned on the bell, please do so now. I'd love for you to join in the conversation and share your travel stories as well. So, as you guys know, I moved to France 11 months ago almost, and you know, I like to get my teeth clean every single year, um, at least once a t once a time per year. I almost started speaking French right there, and it was a weird moment. Um, but wow, yes. Um, so I go once a year. I know that a lot of dentists recommend that you go twice a year. Excuse me, my allergies are out of control today. I think I sound like a Muppet. I don't know what I sound like to you guys, but I just hope that you can hear me. Um, <laughs> but back to the dentist. So um, I think when I was like in college and even in my younger professional life, um, I went to uh, the dentist twice per year. But um, about three years ago, I started going to the dentist school in Charlotte um, at CPCC. And I would rec highly recommend them. I would say that I got the most thorough cleaning I've ever had and a fluoride treatment. Those of you that are into that, I have since stopped using fluoride for uh, spiritual reasons, but I'll get into that another video um but they also do like a stain test to see um where you have been flossing and where you have been cleaning and the dark uh stains that are left after they do like the dye on your teeth to see where you're cleaning or not wherever it's left that means that you need to do work on that side or that side so that's really helpful and also they at the at the dentistry school, they taught me how to brush my teeth as an adult. Now, I think a lot of us have, <clears throat> excuse me, um, been taught how to brush our teeth as a child, but I don't think a lot of dentists take time to really um, teach adults how to brush their teeth as adults. And it's important, right? Our teeth are a completely different size, probably in a different place than they were when we were little. So I would highly recommend anyone who wants to save money and also help out local students in their area and get a very thorough cleaning um, to go to their local dentist school and make an appointment. I will tell you, in Charlotte at least, it's $35 for the year. However, it's not fast. You have to get on a list and if, if they like you, the students will pass you around from year to year and you'll get called. And um, the first time, unfortunately, you have to do it in two sessions. The first time you go and possibly get your x-rays. Um, if you haven't had them done in a few years, you can get your x-rays for free. Um, and then you have to come back a week later, possibly, and get your cleaning. So it's a two-step process. I kind of told them, um, can you possibly do it in one session? So, you know, they made it work for me, but I don't know if that's normal. And hey, you know, you want to stick to the process, right? So moving on, I moved to France and I will say that if you travel to France for a long time, please bring your own floss because the floss that I found in France is like really sharp. So I was flossing my teeth one day and literally my filling right here flew out of my mouth. I was like, oh my goodness, my worst nightmare. I thought it was my tooth. It looked like my tooth, but thank God it was a filling. 
So I went to the first dentist that I could on my little Facebook expat group and I, I searched for a dentist in the area and they charged me, um, I think $20 just to look at my tooth, but they weren't able to fit me in then. So I uh, talked to my French professor slash proprietaire, the person who owns the apartment that I rent per month. And he's like, why are you going to that expensive dentist? I have a dentist that's a mutualist, which means it's for like people, everyone who just wants to save money and has a carte vitale. And um, it's just a lesser service. I don't know what to compare it to in America, but it's just like for everyone that doesn't need like an expensive dentist. They just need a dentist, right? So I I was like, and he's like, well, just make an appointment and say that it's it's urgent because you know your filling is out flew out of your mouth, and maybe you can get an appointment. So I got an appointment like a week later, and um, walked in. Um, have a little problem. I was five minutes late. I was riding on my bike. Thank God it was just like less than a mile from my house. And as soon as I walked in, she's like, uh, you're five minutes late. Do not be late in France. Five minutes is like 50 minutes in France. So don't be late in France. But she took me and, um, I noticed differences right away. One, she spoke French. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Two, um, when I got in the chair, there was no nice like little paper string thingy that they put around your neck to cover your goods and your shirt. It's just a free, just they let everything fly, no paper thing. And I don't know if it was because it was a mutualist dentist, a little bit um, cheaper, I presume, or if it's just the way that they did it in France but actually at the other dentist I went to first when I first got my fillings um fall out of my mouth um they didn't have the little pretty paper that they put around your your neck um either so I think it's a French thing so they don't they don't have any paper around so don't be expecting any little, little cute napkin that you get in the U.S. um and then what else um, I think in some dentists, um, they have those cute glasses. So if, let's say, you get debris or anything flies out of the drill into your eye, you have your eyes protected. They did not have that. And I actually told her, I was like, in the United States, they have uh, glasses. And she just looked at me, you know. So they don't have glasses here in France, I don't know if they'll look at you weird if you bring your own glasses. I don't see the problem with it. You're protecting your eyes. Um, and then uh, I asked her to clean my teeth and she was, um, I asked that before, but when I got in the chair, she was like, looked at me so strange. She was like, well, we only really do that if like you have a lot of plaque. And I'm like, well, it's been a year since I got my teeth cleaned. And she's like, oh, okay, you have a little. And all she did was use like the buffer. Sorry, I don't, I don't, not a dentist. I don't know the technical words. But she literally took five minutes and buffed my teeth with the little buffer. I presume it's called or something like that to describe it. And she's like, zzz, 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 on the inside and the outside. And then she was done cleaning. So to fix my filling, I showed her where it was and she could see it. And then she's like, okay, if it hurts, raise your hand. And I was like, okay. She's like, do you have any pain right now? I'm like, no, I don't actually. So she was just like, took a drill and she was like, Zzzz. she stuck something out. She's like, bite, bite. Bite. And then she like drilled a little bit more. Zzz, and I think I only raised my hand one time. And and then she was like, okay, you're done. And she charged me. It was total for the filling. I think it was like a front. It, it's two surfaces, I believe, for a dentist talk. So it was like front and back. 
it was like $53 one side, 40 something dollars the next. And then for the cleaning, she charged me in total. It was 106 euro, which is a little bit over 106 euro in the US dollar. I don't know the current exchange rate, but you know, close to maybe 115 around. I don't know, maybe a little bit more. So, um, I had no pain. It literally took about 15 minutes. I rode my bike home and I was fine for the rest of the day. Um, I was very happy. I, I'm able to floss. I don't feel any tightness in there. It was really hard for me to get around the floss beforehand because my filling was loose for a very long time and I could feel it moving around. So I'm very happy with the results. Um, I'm a little surprised that they didn't do like a thorough cleaning on everyone. I think it, it's definitely important to do that for prevention. There's lots of stuff in the grates of your gums and I think they need to to scrape it out at least once a year, if not twice. Um, but I mean, my teeth are white and everything's nice and comfortable and I'm really happy and I'd highly recommend going to the dentist in France. Um, I don't know the cost of what it would cost in the U.S. to get a filling um, and a cleaning because as I said before, I've always been going to the dentistry school and luckily I haven't had any cavities in a lot of years and hope I never get another cavity again. Um, so yeah, if you have been to a dentist in another country, please share with me what your experience was and please like this video. And before I go, I just want to say that I have, um, today's my birthday. Whoa, 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 whoa. And today, um, I got a gift in the mail, this really cute t-shirt, Travel Queen. And I chose red because I love red. It's V-neck because I love V-necks, but there's tons of styles, tons of, of sizes for everyone, um, colors and varieties. So it will fit everyone. I love Travel Queen, this logo, because it's just like so cute and fashionable and I can identify my tribe anywhere I go on the plane in France and Germany they know who I am travel queen so please get your t-shirt today and share with friends get gifts for the holidays any holiday birthday Christmas New Year's um Thanksgiving I don't know what Thanksgiving um Easter you know any type of occasion when you're going out with your friends to travel get all your friends a little travel queen t-shirt so you can guys can be in sync for the whole trip and be comfortable on the plane and you can identify other travel queens in the airport what what so um yes i'll have the link below so you can buy your own travel queen t-shirt and i want you to, to have a wonderful new year and um, make 2020 the best year yet. I'll have more videos to come and I'll see you next time. Bisous.